to create the developer account for 365, first thing you need is just a Microsoft account. Uh, could be an Outlook.com account that you've made specially for it. Could be your own Microsoft account. It's really up to you, but a valid Microsoft account is, is what you need to register as a developer on. So you can go to this site first, developer.microsoft.com, which you will need to put on Microsoft-365 on the end. That will take you into the 365 Dev Center. And once you're in there, go to Developer Program, hit Join Now, and Join Now there. Then it will prompt you to log in as that account. So we will go in as the one that I set up for this. So, like that, and it'll just log you straight in there and give you access to the sign up. So we'll just go in and put in. And I'll just put in this terms and conditions. Don't really want all the tips, thank you. And hit next. It'll ask you a few questions, and we'll just say this is just for personal projects. And what am I interested in? Graph and teams. Good. And away we go. It really is as easy as that. We now have access to, like it says, 365 developer program. Now that obviously just gets us into the, the dev program itself. The next step is to go in and set up this E5 subscription. Now this is the rolling subscription, 25 user accounts. It'll renew every three months uh, as long as you do some developer work in it. I've got another video you can check out about how to make sure that does continue and you, and you keep using it. But this E5 subscription is a true full-blown E5. Everything in E5 is yours. There's, there's nothing restricted in there. Uh, you are limited to 25 accounts, that's it. You're not allowed to use it in terms of commercial use, so you shouldn't really run your company on that based on that, you know, having a free E5 license because, you know, it, it could stop. I mean, it may not get renewed. So it is really a developer thing. But So click on the set up E5 subscription. We'll get this. Now there's two options you can do here. The instant sandbox does give you uh, a tenant which is already configured, as you can see here. 16 fictitious users, there's there's data in there. So if you're using it from a developer point of view that you need content in there to, to mess with and play with, that's a really good option. If you want to have it completely blank, uh, you can hit up the configurable sandbox there and you can see here. So we've got um, uh, the 90 days left on it um, and it just tells you what it is when it expires and the like. So we will now just hit next. And it now asks us some details about what we want to set up. So obviously we've, we've registered the developer account with a Microsoft account, but we need to set up the tenant. So these are the tenant details that we're putting in here. So I'll put in our username, just put admin, and we'll call this one Cloud Geezer E5 demo. Now for passwords, I like to use this one, this website, the strong password generator. And you can see you can just hit generate a few times. I mean, I'll put it up to 16 and just generate a few. Clearly, I'm not going to use any that you see here, but uh, you get the idea. This is a good site to use for that type of thing. So I'm going to use one that I got from earlier. There we go. And just hit continue. It's going to ask you for a phone number. I'm just going to put mine in and just pause while I do that and get it to send me a code. But this is where you just put your normal phone number in. It just wants to prove that uh, you have a phone. You can use it for other things like uh, the password resets and the like. So with the phone number in, it should sit there. Do that, as you can see, jumps in and voila, we have a developer tenant. Nice and easy, right? And have a quick look around here now if we say go to subscription we don't need to access the subscription in this way it is a nice easy link to get there obviously but you can just log in now into 365 with this username and password obviously and get in uh, to the tenant the normal way you can see here getting started welcome to our 365 demo looks like that and yeah first time in as you can see just hit admin and yeah. 
So really, this is a brand new, completely compliant E5 developer tenant. Now, if we look at the tenant here, go to licenses. See here from our subscription, we have 25 licenses, 24. One's obviously applied to that, uh, the admin account straight away. But uh, looking at products here, you can see, yeah, there we go. Expires in February. Important next step is just go into your settings, go into domains, and add yourself a domain, add a production uh, purchase domain in there, then you can start using it as, as a real life tenant. In fact, this particular tenant, I'm going to use in some demos that I'll be recording shortly, just on how to migrate from Google Workspace into M365 using native tools. So look out for that one. And just a note, please subscribe to the channel. If you do that and drop me a note to mark at thecloudgeezer.com, uh, you get that coupon code off the, the cloudgeezer.com website. You can download for free then the M365 discovery script that I have and also the OneDrive external sharing report, which is pretty useful. Um, other videos, obviously, you can check out what they really do. But yes, yeah, so once again, thanks for watching. And yes, please subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.